To begin the repair process for the Model 350, 8, 10, and 12 inch backflip preventers, first close your inlet and outlet shutoff valves. You will want to open the number 2, number 3, and number 4 test cocks to release the pressure from the valve. Leave the test cocks open during check removal and reinstallation. Loosen and remove the two nuts and bolts on the groove coupling on the cover. Remove the coupling halves, gasket, and the cover. You can drain the water from the assembly by loosening the cover plate on the bottom of the valve. To remove the number one check valve, unscrew and remove the four nuts and washers around the outside of the check with an 11 16 socket. Slide the check assembly back off the studs in the body. Always service the checks one at a time to avoid mixing parts. Both checks can be repaired following the same procedure. You will want to remove the bolts from the seal retainer on the check, then remove the retainer. Remove the seal ring and inspect the face for cuts or embedded debris. For a temporary fix, you can flip the seal ring over to use the smooth side while waiting for new replacement parts. Inspect the sharp edge of the seat with your finger for any damage. Inspect O-ring in the groove on the seat for debris or damage. Replace any damaged parts. If you are installing a repair kit, replace the seal ring, seat O-ring, and bolt O-rings. Reassemble the check and tighten the retainer bolts evenly. Clean and inspect the O-ring sealing area in the body. Next, you will lubricate the seat O-ring. To remove the number 2 check valve, unscrew and remove the 7 nuts and washers around the outside of the check with an 11 16 socket. Remove the stainless retaining ring from the studs. Slide the check assembly back off the studs in the body. After servicing the number 2 check, place it on the studs in the body. Slide the stainless steel retaining ring onto the studs. Place the seven washers and nuts on the studs and tighten the nuts evenly. When placing the check assemblies back onto the studs in the body, you want to make sure the O-ring stays in its groove. Place number one check assembly onto its studs in the body. Place the four washers and nuts on the studs and tighten the nuts evenly. If the bolts on the cover plate on the bottom of the valve were loosened to drain the valve, retighten them now. Be sure the O-ring is still in its groove. Place the groove coupling gasket over the valve opening. Lubricate the outside of the gasket. Replace cover and reassemble groove coupling. Make sure coupling is seated properly and the ends of the coupling halves touch. Close test cocks. Open your inlet valve slowly to pressurize the assembly. Inspect for any leaks. Open and then close test cocks to bleed air from the assembly. Open your outlet valve a small amount and wait for system to pressurize. Fully open the outlet valve once the system is pressurized. The valve should be tested by trained personnel to confirm that it is working properly.